now the third function is two days two days function is used to convert a time span value to a total number of days so here you can see i have taken a input of time span so double click here and now you can see here in the time once you will select here time span we have the option to put days hours minutes and seconds so we have four values four input values so i have entered value here one 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 it means one day one hour one minute and one second now this value i'm going to pass here and then i will show you how to convert a time span value to a days in number so we already have this days and this is a number data type and this time span is the time span data type so double click here and we are passing this value this time span here here and then we are going to store this and run this now you can see what we are getting we are getting this error so what we can do to convert this we have to write here to days now click ok now click on a step and you can see here we have this value that is days 1 now how we are getting this so here you can see we have time span value that is 1 that is day 0 1 that is hour 0 1 that is minute 0 1 that is second so here it will give you a day so in this one the first number that is a day you can see from here that is a day but here we have one hour so one hour we cannot convert to a day so by this way we can convert a time span value to a total number of days now the fourth function is two hours two hours function converts a time span value to a total number of hours now again we'll be taking the same time span as an input we have one day one hour one minute one second and here you can see we have taken the same input value and we are going to store in hours and what is this hours so hours is a data type number this is the it this is the data item stage now if we step here so we are getting this error that no conversion available from time span to number so how can we overcome to this issue so we have to again double click we have the fourth number that is two hours so this functions we need to put here that is two hours now open and the close bracket now click ok now click on step so you can see here now we are getting value here we have a time span we have one day one hour so one day means 24 hours is equals to one day so we already have 24 hours and here we have one hour so 24 hours plus 125 hours and this is minutes so it will not add any value to this because here we are just getting a whole number of total number of hours only now we'll learn two minutes function two minutes function is used to convert a time span value to minute so again we are going to use the same time span input value and we'll store in this minutes that is in the number data type so double click here and you can see here we have we are going to take the time span and store in the minutes now again click on step and you can see again the same error we are getting here because we are not able to convert this value to a number here because we are we have this time span so how can we convert so again we have this two minutes so we are going to convert this time span to minutes now click ok and click a step so here you can see we are getting minutes that is 1501 so how we are getting this so we have this one day so one day means 24 hours and then one hour also we have one day one hour so plus one so we have 25 hours and we want in the minutes so 24 25 hours multiply 60 so it will give you a 1500 minutes now 1500 minutes and here in the time span we have one minutes so plus one minutes plus one minutes will give you a 1501 minutes 
So, you can see here in the output we have 1501. Now, the sixth function of conversion is 2 seconds. 2 seconds function is used to convert a time span value to a total number of seconds. So, again we are going to use the time span value as an input and we are going to store in the seconds in the number. Now, click on step. So, again we are getting the same error because we are not converting this time span value to seconds. So, that is why we are getting error. So, how can we convert this? So, we have this function that is called 2 seconds open and close bracket. So, this is the 2 seconds is the function. Now, click step. So, you can see here now we have this output that is seconds 90061. So, you can see here we have 1501 that is coming from this minutes. If you will multiply with 60 again because 1 minute equals to 60 seconds. So, we are going to convert this minutes to seconds. So, multiply 60. So, we have 90060 and now in the input if you see here we have one more seconds here. So, this seconds will add here. So, our output is 90061. 90061 is the seconds that we are getting here. Now, we will talk about two time function. Two time function is used to convert a text value to time. So, if you see here, I am using current time. A current time is that we are taking from this input that is stored in a text because this two time function is used to convert a value from text to time and time is a data type. To convert this what we can do we have to write here 2. So, we have this current time that is 430. Now, we have to write here 2 time. Now, click OK. Now, click on step. So, here is giving us value in the time format that is 430 00 it means hour minutes and seconds. So, this is the time format. 